Hey, what's up everybody? It's Havoc coming back at you with the new one. When I bought my ROG Ally, I got the 512 gig version and I'm already out of space. So join me as I upgrade the storage and my ROG Ally. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so like I said at the intro there, I bought the 512 gig version and I'm already out of storage and I wanted to see how I could upgrade the storage here and not just do a micro SD card. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can upgrade the storage in your ROG Ally. So you can see here, I got the Ally. I've got a cover on it. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the cover off. And it goes without saying, you wanna make sure it's turned off. You don't wanna do this while it's powered on because you are going to be taking off the back cover here. You will need a mini screwdriver. And the great thing is all the screws on the back are the same size. You have six screws. Well, I take that back. Five of them are the same size and you'll you'll understand why here in a sec. So I'm just gonna loosen all of them. And don't worry, it's you're not gonna break anything. They come out really easy. They actually have little blue locking tape on the end of them, as you can maybe see. Oh, it's not a very good, it's a little blue on the end there. Kind of little Loctite sort of screws so they don't come out. But they're comes apart really easily. Bottom ones seem to have a little more stick to them. And then we'll go do this one. I think I need to do the top ones a little bit more. I'm rocking my St. Jude Play Live desk for this. Make sure you have something underneath your ally to kind of, you know, help protect it. Don't want to do it just on a desk with nothing, no protection or anything under it. Thanks for a rubber mat. Any sort of mouse pad works great. I don't remember when, what logo or what year this mouse pad was. But it's one of my faves. If you are familiar with the channel, we do a lot of charity fundraising. If you're interested in donating or learning more, you can head over to havoc.2 slash charity. So you can see all the work I'm doing for whatever charity. It just depends on the time of year. I switch it around. So usually I fundraise for, for sure, St. Jude and Extra Life. And then I pepper in some other ones throughout the year. All right, so we have five screws. Like I said, they're all the same size. Then there's this one. So this one doesn't actually come out. This is kind of the, the locking screw. So you wanna kind of twist it off until it makes a little click noise. And it clicked, that means we're good to go. So I'm gonna put the screwdriver up here with the screws because we will need it here in a sec. And then what you do, once you have all the screws out, you basically just need to pop the plastic apart. Sometimes it comes apart really easily, and sometimes you need to get like a credit card or something to, to pop it out. What I found works well is the bottom comes apart pretty pretty well. So you can see, so you can see this screw here kind of helps pop it up a little bit. You can put a guitar pick in there, you can put a little card or whatever. I'm gonna see if we can just do it by hand. Yep, there we go. You can see we're starting to get it popped open there. And once you get one of these corners done, there you go, you're pretty much home free. So pop that off. And there you go. There's the inside of the ROG Ally. Now, what we're looking for here is the storage. The storage is gonna be under this black paper stuff here. What I did is I picked up this Sabrent two terabyte drive off of Amazon. That's a 2230 drive. It's not your typical M.2 drive you put like in a computer or a laptop. The problem is they're kind of expensive. So at the time of when I got this, this was the best rated and for the best price. I know Western Digital came out with one recently. I don't have access to that, so we're gonna go with this. So again, this is a two terabyte drive off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. And as we pop it open here, it's kind of hard to open because it's tiny. But you can see how tiny that drive is. Not your typical size of drive. We'll put that aside. And then we gotta take the old drive out. So with your screwdriver, we'll lift this little paper up and you can see right there, it's our drive. We're gonna unscrew the black screw here and that'll come out. Make sure you don't lose that screw. And then this can be kind of difficult of popping the drive out. There's a little black tab in here too you can use to help pull it out over the screw area. There we go. So I got that out. There we go. And don't worry, you're not gonna break anything. Just be careful of what you're touching in there, what you're fumbling around with. So we'll take the new drive. I mean, you can even peel off this black stuff probably if you wanted to and just make sure you stick it back on. Now I'm kind of, so now what we do is you peel that back and then we're gonna pop the new drive in. It only goes in one way, so make sure you pay attention to how it's keyed. And you slide it just right in the slot. It'll have a little click. Then you'll take your black screw, put it back in the screw hole there, screw it down until it's nice and snug. Don't over tighten it. You don't wanna ruin the motherboard. Put that paper back down, get the back of the case, and then line it up, make sure it kind of clicks in. All right, and then put your screws in. It's a really simple process. 
it's nice of how easy they they made this you know i don't know if they intentionally made it this easy but it definitely is easy and just note you know this could void your warranty it's up to you if you want to do it i'm not saying to do it i don't make any claims that it's safe to do it i just know i need to do it and I'm sure many of you out there need to as well because you know those storage cards for these things the micro sd cards are not cheap as you all probably know from having a switch over the years that is the easiest way to upgrade the storage then we'll put the little master screw there tighten it down you want to have the click boom didn't break anything we're just clicking it back into place tighten up your screws and there you go we just upgraded the storage on the rog ally something to note if you do this and it doesn't power on make sure all of the screws are tightened i've noticed when i was doing a test earlier that I put the drive in, put the back cover on, screwed things down, and it wouldn't turn on. I had to actually tighten this kind of the little master screw here, make it much tighter, and make sure I clicked in before it would power on. So I don't know if they have some sort of a, you know, trigger system or something inside of there that won't power on unless there's a connection made by like this screw or, or something like that. <laughs> 